Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. Um, just a quick video here to show you what I've done with the Bronco so far. Uh, TRX4M, Bronco in black. Um, got the trailer, got my interior back there. Um, I've kind of got the interior sorted. I just got to figure out how I'm going to mount it inside the truck. Um, just go over a couple of things that I've done. Um, the trailer, uh, you just kind of give it a little bit of a twist and it comes off really easy. Um, but I went ahead and scaled the trailer out a little bit, gave it some chrome uh, tongue, uh, chromed the fender trim there, chromed all the, all the buckles or the tie-down points all the way around it. I took the Traxxas sticker off the back. Um, just some, just a little bit of details. And then I took this old tire that I had and just drilled it out a little bigger to accept a longer bolt. And then drilled through this right at the T on the trailer there and put a nut on the bottom. I mean, it hangs down a little bit, but that's more for scale stuff anyway. But then I got a spare mounted to the tongue there. Um, doesn't doesn't obviously match these, but still looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. <clears throat> um, on the Bronco, I did the scale light kit, so that's all installed. Um, also in the rear, and then I did the uh, my own version, I guess, of the delete the, the rear spare tire because I didn't want that chunky thing hanging off the back. Um, so just know to del to remove that, the screw for it is underneath the sticker with the Bronco logo on it. Logo? The Bronco logo on it, on that rear fake spare tire. Um, underneath that sticker is the screw, so I just kind of gently poked a hole through it access the screw and then was able to back that thing off, take the mounting plate off and then put these four screws back in and it gives it a pretty clean look. I don't know if those lights are kind of screwing it up, but we'll unplug it here. And give you a better look, but pretty clean if you ask me. And then you don't have all that weight on the back. Not that it weighed a lot, but just kind of a I don't know. It's what I did. I've got to make everything my own. That's kind of my thing. I don't know. It's what I it's what I enjoy about the hobby is doctoring things up and making them making them all my own. So, got the delete on there. Got the hitch, which is a pretty cool scale little hitch. It's going to hang up on the on the climbs and give me a bad angle but i mean whatever that's just going to be part of it um let's talk about this interior so i painted it and then i wasn't able i don't know i'm not that good at this kind of stuff but i had to cut out the middle to make it narrow enough to fit in here and then kind of re-glue it and it's just kind of taped on the back and then glued here for now um that doesn't look very good, but when it's inside there, you don't really notice. And then the dash, I think, looks really good. Obviously, it's not Ford Bronco correct, but I'm not trying to get into all that. So just to show you, I don't, I've got it all to where it fits in here. What I don't have is... Um, where, like, how I'm going to have it, like, permanently mounted, I guess, is what I'm saying. So, um, what I'll do for now, just to show you, is I'll take a little, little strip of tape here. Kind of stick it on there. And then pull that back. Good enough, that's in there. Then we'll take this interior and it will kind of go and it's going to sit like that. 
if you guys can see the lighting isn't that great but when there you can see the dash in there and the seats look pretty okay try to get all of this sorted for you guys to get a good look okay so this is where it gets a little stupid and all that's resting where it's supposed to be and voila so we got full function everything works Speaking of everything works, how, how cool is this light kit? When you're driving and then you, and you stop, brake lights come on, and then when you back up, it's got reverse. I don't know, I think that's cool. Just cool little details. But anyway, oh, see I got a wire showing there, so that's not, that's not good. We don't want that. But anyway, like I said, I'm still trying to sort how to permanently mount this thing. But interior looks pretty good, man. And then from the front, if I can get it to where the lights aren't just blinding you. And then another look at the dash. Let's check the other side. Again, that wire's in the way, which is terrible, but pretty cool, man, honestly. I just gotta figure out how like to permanently mount it. And then obviously you can see like my tape job there because there's a little gap. I'd have to, I got to figure all that out, but it's coming along and it looks good. The trailer, I don't know. I'm happy with it. So yeah, we'll uh, do a couple flyby shots here and uh, that's my Bronco so far. Thanks for watching. Thank you.